Man, man, look, something happened about a couple of weeks ago. G Money, late G Money, man. Rest in peace, G Money. Yeah, his grave was uh, destroyed, bro. It's horrible. How that made you feel about that when you seen it? Man, I just, I, I, it ain't just about G. I hate seeing anything negative with my city and all that going on, honestly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's just me getting older and maturing and I'm up in age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, I used to be with the boy, and, like, I, you know, all of, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, I just hate seeing all that shit, bro, but it was, I, I seen how devastating and serious it was when, like, I was going around, like, my mama and, other older people and they was asking me, man, you see how they did that? And you know, yeah. and when they know about it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Like, I feel like, and nobody see, they were saying like whoever did it, like take responsibility for it. They ain't take responsibility. If you want to do said, something like that, I raise would, your hand. I wouldn't do that. But if don't I do it then, see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, was like, I wouldn't do that if I was doing Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it if I, I wouldn't was do I wouldn't have did that period, but. I wouldn't invite nobody to eat, uh, cause you know how they got people who they they so stupid to not be scared. So yeah. they are cloud chasing, say they did and then didn't do it. Mm -hmm. So please, nobody, please don't do that. Man, I think they you need to take saying? responsibility. If you man or woman enough to do that, I'm saying they got people that that, that didn't even that wouldn't. Yeah, I get they ain't had nothing to do with it and, and say they for the fame and, all and that. say they did it and get themselves in some. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's just like. Man, bro, I just hate that shit even having me. Like, like I said, the person who did it, I wouldn't advise they say that. I advise them to come out and say it. Just, I'll just come on, you man and woman enough to do that. I mean, I agree with what you're saying, yeah. but I'm saying for your personal well-being, <laughs> it's about self-perseverance. Don't listen to this nigga behind yeah, the camera. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. You man and woman enough to do it. Man, raise your hand. That's I did it. That's Serious, boy, man. It like it's serious because it's somebody, people, bro. Mm -hmm. Period, bro. Like that. It's like you know, like uh, a a big into the entity from the city. Like I don't. You could have been a nobody. You don't do that to nobody, bro. Yeah, you really don't do that to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care if it was a bum, a junk around the corner. You don't go do that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't know what you know, I don't oh, know. How I feel like they need I don't a, know what's going on. Come on out and whatever happens to you when you come out, just hey, just take whatever come with it. Hey man. Because you made that man mama hey, say. Hey, but you know, like I'm saying, you don't do that. Hey man, do what you wanna do that song, you and God. This is my opinion. Like mm -hmm. I you know, I ain't God to tell you what you should and could and shouldn't be doing, but in my opinion, it was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. All right, yeah, we'll put it like this. Man, you feel like BR got that crab in the bucket mentality. Hell yeah, bad as a mm -hmm. Right. Nigga, everybody, it, it, will we be at the bottom of the bucket? Everybody be with each other. It's jiggling, jiggling. Come on, let's go to the studio, bitch. Throw me back, bitch. Come on, you know, let's rock out. Mm -hmm. We doing songs, you know. Nigga hanging. Niggas falling out with each other, getting back cool with each other, you know what I'm saying? And then as soon as one of them niggas climb up out the book, I mean, they, oh, before they climb out the book, nigga like, yeah, man, one of us make it, we gonna great, you know, it's, it's good, you feel me? Yeah. And then as soon as one nigga climb up out the book, nigga like, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Nigga might take a couple of they, you know, yes men and people that they been with with them, but as far yeah. as like somebody that would be in competition with them or like in the same field is, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. we do the same thing, we both rap or we both play ball or we, the nigga ain't gonna pull you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, nigga might pull somebody that do something else that they can invest in and capitalize off of and they ain't gonna do that with a lot of people. It's gonna be a couple of people, but yeah, once a nigga get out that bucket, nigga like, ha ha, ha ha. And I feel like, once about to make it, all right, say like me and you used to hang together. We were both on the bull every day. You make it, you get money, and forget about me. I'm going to feel like you changed on me. See, a person like me, I may not take that as, oh, he got the money. He doing positive now. I'm going to want him to come back and do the bull with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, f I feel that. I feel that. that ain't, but that ain't always the situation. Like, mm -hmm. 
a lot of the niggas who feel who might feel cheated, because I seen in New Orleans, uh, Jeter had posted something like that, and uh, I think it was what Cutter Black. Yeah, yeah, something like something that. Something like that, I, you know. And uh, Lil Wildlife, they had something to say about mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? And I agree with a lot with what they said, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's, it's similar and they see it too. New Orleans don't be, the niggas who make it don't be pulling nothing really. Them niggas I got agree. talented niggas up there too, you feel me? You I feel agree. Me? So it's like, it's a Louisiana thing. Like, just so like ran down and like no opportunity to the point where like, Man, nigga, see the light and be like, <laughs> yeah, I'm out this. Mm -hmm. What uh, what Uncle Willie say? I said I would never leave. When <laughs> I got my money, I was gone. Yeah, yeah. You know that's how you know that's how that's going. You know what I'm saying? But I I also agree with Lil Wildlife end up coming back and correcting itself and saying like, but at the same time. You know, them niggas don't owe a nigga nothing. Like, yeah. you know, you got to you got to get out here and grind and make your way just like they did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how all that's how every successful from the nigga from this field. Like, I did a nigga you could do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta respect it at some point. Like, you just you know, it just eat that and like just keep going because that's all life about. Like, even if you don't never make it. Like, nigga, you was trying. You was, trying. You, you was scratching. Get rich or die trying. Get rich or die trying, yeah, nigga, because you going to die. Yeah, you going to die. Just all depends how much you make. But made. if you quit before you die, yeah. it's like you die while you, like, bitch, you ain't living. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you ain't living at all. You feel me? Man, uh, one rapper that just recently passed away about a month ago, Harley King. You ain't so, know Harley King? Yeah, that was my dog. We grew up together. Harley used to be with me all the time, like we got buku mutual friends, like yeah, that 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 broke my heart. That told me to, like I say, you know, I I am Baton Rouge. I know I know everybody from Baton Rouge, just like you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when it be the back and forth, I don't even be knowing no details or nothing like that. I just be knowing like damn, you know, and it's like, bro, like it don't matter who it is, I'ma feel feel a way about it. Yeah. Cause I know them all, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's just sad to see, bro. Like, I just want to say my condolences to all everybody, families who lost somebody out here.